Hey there, Solid 3D Memories family. It's Patrick, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got an exciting project in store. We'll be crafting a multicolor 3D printed, hitch receiver cap, and we're starting from a digital 2D image. So, let's dive in. Our first step is selecting a digital image for our hitch receiver cap. It could be a logo, a design, or anything that represents your style. For this project, I am doing a narwhal because a customer requested it. I created the image in Paint 3D. Next up, we'll be doing some image editing to prepare it for 3D printing. The colors are not important, but most of the time I do add color to help me with the final steps, which we will cover later in the video. One thing I found to be helpful during this process is to ensure that the outlines are clearly defined and closed. If there are details that you do not want to transfer to your 3D model, then do not clearly define the outline of those parts. The most important thing here is that you save the image as a JPEG file. This will be important in the next step. To bring our design into the third dimension, we need to convert the 2D image into a 3D model. I use a free software called Inkscape to convert the JPEG file into a SVG file that I can later import into Tinkercad. Start by importing the file into Inkscape. If you would like to resize the image, hold the Ctrl and Shift keys and then drag an arrow to get to the size you want. After that, and while the image is selected, use the Ctrl and D keys to duplicate the image. Next, go up to the Path menu and select Trace Bitmap. Go to the lower right-hand corner of your screen and click Apply. On the right-hand side of the screen close the Bitmap menu. Next, under the Stroke tab, click Flat Color and under the Fill tab click No Paint. Lastly, click the original images and move them to the side then delete them, until you are left with an image that looks like it came out of a coloring book. This is the image you want to keep and save as an SVG file. The SVG file is what will be imported into Tinkercad. Once Tinkercad opens, import the file. This is the time to set your dimensions to whatever fits your needs. The key to being able to print this item with different filament colors without a multi-nozzle or AMS system, is to set different heights for each part of the object that you want to have a different color. This is where having a color image to start with might help you decide on varying heights. Pro tip, print out the original image or keep it open in your drawing software so you can keep notes on height levels and color areas. Remember light colors are easier to cover than darker ones, and all the colors are going to print on top of one another layer by layer. I usually have the lighter color set to a lower height than my darker colors because of this. However, the color order all depends on, if you will be printing the object face up or down. In this case, the object will be printed face up. You will most likely want at least a 1mm difference in height between your different colors, if you do not want the bottom layer to bleed through. I have gone as little as a half millimeter and as much as 2 millimeters. A quick way to duplicate a shape in Tinkercad is, to select the shape by clicking on it, then press Ctrl and D on your keyboard. Remember if you accidentally move something you can undo using the undo arrow or Ctrl and Z. There are tons of tutorial videos on how to use Tinkercad if you are struggling to keep up. However, if you have any questions, let me know and I will be happy to help. Once you have the object filled with the colors you would like at their respective heights, it is time to download the object as an STL file and get it into your slicer. I am using Bamboo Studio as my slicer, but any slicer that will allow you to pause at a specific layer height will work. For this example, I am printing the object face up. I am going to add a pause at each layer where I want to change the color. If you have an AMS system or a multi-nozzle system you can approach this step differently. In this scenario, I can only load one roll of filament at a time. Remember to keep notes on which color will be loaded at each pause. On a Bamboo Labs P1P printer, printing at a 0.12 mm layer height, this item will take about 7 hours to print. Of course, I have sped up the time lapse video many times over, so you don't have to skip through 7 hours of footage. For this item, all I have to do is remove the support material, which is pretty easy to do in this case. I will not do any sanding or painting. And there you have it. We've successfully transformed a digital image into a vibrant, multicolor 3D printed hitch receiver cap. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or if there's a specific project you'd like me to tackle next, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more DIY projects. Until next time, happy making!